Hi, it's Tom from Green Shorts, and today I want to give you a quick overview on how my black soldier fly larva composter has been working, as well as a few tips for effective operation. Stay tuned. Welcome back, subscribers. If you haven't joined us yet, you can do so by clicking on the Green Shorts icon that's going to appear in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen throughout the video. So I wanted to give you a quick addendum. This is the morning after I installed everything in this compost bin. You can see down in there, got a pretty good take. Also can see here on the sides where these guys were going over the lip. There's also a, a nice dark line of slime down the corner of that chute, which means it's doing exactly what I wanted it to do, which is to capture them and make them slide right down. Harder to see here in the black bin, but let's take it out. Now we can see. So that's one night's worth. They tend to migrate out at night. So I'm amazed. That means I'm probably missing that many every night. Those are the pupa that have come out in just one night. Let's pull this out. awesome. No eggs yet, but I'm not surprised about that. It's getting a little cool for that to be happening. It got down in the 50s last night. We're out here at night, see if we can catch them migrating. few in there, a few on that side as well, see a few guys right there climbing out. Oh yeah. Dropped in. A few of them are finding their way out of the, the holes in the sides they are dropping into the bottom here. So let's get these guys, drop them in with the others. So this was supposed to catch liquid, but looks like it's catching soldier fry larva as well. See a few, a few small ones working their way across there. When we get to the edge here, they should head away. Don't see any more. Oh, I'll hear a couple. They're gonna see that light and turn around though, I bet. Put the light behind them. The beauty of this capture method is that it's only taking the soldier fly larvae that are ready, in other words, that are, that are done composting. So their work is done uh, as the composter, and now they're ready to be the food source. All right. There she goes. By the way, I emptied this this morning. So this is what has crawled out of here today and tonight. You can see as we're getting into the cooler temperatures here, these guys are working a lot more slowly but they're still working. So 
Not as many as came out the first couple nights. Probably because it's cooler, so they're moving more slowly. But this is a whole lot more than I've been capturing in the old system. And this is a lot cleaner too. You can see my old system, how messy it was. Here's the take from the last several days. And here's what we got. Two catch basins from last night. Not a bad take. And they're nice and dry too, which I appreciate. Makes them easier to handle. Not that you have to handle them. One thing to keep in mind here is that the black soldier fly larva can harbor pathogens just because of the nature of how they live and the environment they live in. So make sure you wash your hands well after you handle them, if you do. Now I do release a handful or so from each batch. Um, into my compost bin where they have the opportunity to become adults and come back and continue the cycle. Still making compost. Here's a, a Papa John's uh, pepper that we didn't eat and it's basically just the skin. They'll eat out the inside and leave that paper thin skin behind. It's pretty cool. Here's something interesting. We're well into October. It's almost Halloween and normally this would be done by now. But I'm actually seeing some adults and they're smaller than normal. I guess just some of these guys because the temperatures are getting close to 80 during the day, they are hatching out. You can see one up under there as well. There's a fairly sizable adult. This is more the normal size. I see them when they hatch. One thing I'm dealing with is spiders. The spiders are getting in here and they're actually capturing uh, some of the larvae as they're leaving. And then a the adults in the, up in the top here. This is an ideal spider habitat under this cover. You can see where a spider has captured one of the young adults as they were coming out of the pupa stage into the adult stage. So I'm going to have to watch out for these spiders. I'm to move these guys if I can just because they are part of the ecosystem too here. Hate to just kill them for no reason. But yeah, they love this space. I got one up there, another one right here. The spiders are also building webs down in here, which is a particularly good spot to catch adult soldier flies if they're, if they're hatching down in the catch basin. So gonna watch here for webs. So there's a maintenance thing we'll have to keep an eye on. Spiders. One of the main benefits of working with soldier fly larvae for composting is that they can eat meat. Here I'm gonna put in the remnants of a rotisserie chicken. Flip this over. Press it down a little bit. Come back and take a look at this later today. All right, it's early evening. Let's check on this chicken. Ooh, spooky. Right, let's see. Let's lift this up. Let's see what's going on underneath it, because that's where the action is. Doing some work. 
All right. We'll let them work overnight and see what's left of it in the morning. These hamburger buns are getting chewed up pretty quickly as well. The more rotten or moldy they are, the more they attract the larva. You can see those guys are all here for the hamburger buns. So moldy bread, also acceptable. Those will be gone in the morning. And here we are a full 24, maybe 28 hours after I put the chicken in. So you can see what's left of it. Not much. Bones and skin. There's nothing left of that bread. Nothing. These guys are fast. And they're gonna try and get away from the light right now. Because we are having cooler nights, one thing I am noticing today is a buildup of some condensation on the inside of the lid. See how the wood's wet there. because when these guys work they generate heat and that difference in temperature between the outside and the inside is causing condensation. So I actually want to leave this open a little bit today let that dry out. So I'm going to prop it open and let the condensation work its way out. The temperature at night has been getting into the low 40s and I can tell that the solidified larvae that are still here are moving a lot more slowly. That's just a sign that it's almost time to shut this thing down for the winter. And to do that I'll be moving compost and whatever solidified larvae remain into one of my garden beds. You could also move them into a ground based compost pile which is going to have more heat than this unit that's suspended in the air. So there's a basic operational update on my soldier fly larva composter. I gotta say I'm really excited about how it's working. Now this was a pretty intensive build. I gotta admit it took me two days to build and shoot the video. The labor that went into making this is going to far offset the amount of work and mess it took to harvest the soldier fly larva from my old system. I'm really happy with investing the time it took to make this system. I used a lot of different methods to compost, from a simple pile to worm composting. I've got a commercial composter as well, the earth machine. This is the most exciting for me, mainly because it happens so quickly. The amount of materials I can compost are the greatest. I mean, these guys will eat meat. And the fact that I'm creating a food source for chickens or fish, that's completing this cycle in terms of waste, turning back into a usable product. As always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green. And save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks for watching. Please like and share. And subscribe for a new DIY video every Friday.